Warning. The following video contains scenes of graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on? What happened? Was that an explosion? Sweet Celestia, look at the town square. It's been destroyed. Is every pony okay? Get back inside, you silly pony. You don't know what's out there. Oh my goddess, oh my goddess, oh my goddess. I think someone got hit. Some pony, quick, wake up the doctor. Oh my goddess, oh my goddess. Some ponies down there, I can see them. Are they alive? Doctor, doctor, someone fetch the damn doctor. Don't look, baby. Don't look! Was this a magic accident? It has to be! Look, their horn is broken! Don't get too close. There might be aftershock. 
Wait, what? That horn is gone! chosen. The rest of you, make sure no guards survive. The fat little ponies inside the castle must have no one left to protect them if we are to properly harvest their flesh. I must admit, Santos was right to trust that centaur wizard. If his spell to depower Celestia works as well as his teleportation spell, Equestria will be ours by morning. <laughs> What is it, Raven? <clears throat> Captain Alma, where is Princess Cadence? Uh, she was right behind me, I thought. She must still be in the room where Princess Luna- We must find her! Princess Luna left her in charge! She left Cadence in charge. Yes, she was very specific. Princess Luna said that Princess Celestia is in trouble and- Princess Celestia is in trouble? Shh! Keep your voice down or you'll start a panic. I think it's a little late for that after her dramatic exit in front of half the castle staff. Come on, let's go find Cadence. What is that? Raven, do you remember the castle escape protocols? Remember them? I wrote them. In the guest room I just left, there's a secret escape passage behind the bookcase. It leads out of the castle. Take my parents through it. Get them to safety. I'll handle this. But- Pulling rank on you right now, Raven. I'm the captain of the Royal Guard. Do as I say. Get them out safely. Now. I'm trusting you with their lives. I'll find Cadence. There's no threat we can't defeat when we're together. My wedding proved that. What's this? A little hero pony? Heroic flesh has more zest than fearful flesh. Come, little pony. Be a hero. Die a hero. Let me taste your heroism. <laughs> Are you? We are your doom, little hero pony. Are you the leader of this very misguided invasion? Seriously, we had one of those a few weeks ago and it did not go well for those guys. Ah yes, 
Chrysalis's silly changelings. We heard of her humiliation. She and her drones pale in comparison to us, little hero pony. They are mere specks, not even good for food. Too crunchy and jaggedy, with no magic of their own for us to feast upon. Only the emotions they thieved from truly magical beings like you. And who is us? I would very much like to taste your flesh and your magic, little hero pony. To me, my horses! told you, little hero pony. We are your doom. <sighs> Still alive? How quaint, how curious, how extraordinary. Yes, yes, yes. But no matter. I shall enjoy tasting your flesh, little hero pony. You stink of magic. Your horn sizzles with it. Your bones tremble with how much you carry in your marrow. Such power, such power, such power! And it shall be all mine when you're in my belly. Get away from my husband! Another alicorn? No, this... This cannot be. There is only Celestia. Whoever you are, I suggest you take your forces and leave this place. Now! No, this is impossible. The only alicorn is Celestia. It has always only been Celestia. Sorry to contradict you. Except, no, I'm not. Leave. Now. To me, my horses! Are you alright, Shiny? I'm fine. My shield took most of the blast. Oh, thank goodness. I was so scared she hurt you. Who was that? Lieutenant Intrepid, mobilize the off-duty guards immediately. The castle has been breached by hostile forces. Lieutenant Intrepid, come in. Lieutenant Intrepid? Lieutenant Intrepid! Lieutenant Nobleheart? Corporal Ironhoof? Can anyone hear me? That was a direct communication spell to my immediate subordinates. Some pony should have responded. I don't like this. What should we do? Cadence. Raven says Luna left you in charge while she's gone. She thinks something happened to Celestia, and she's gone to rescue her. We've been attacked by an unknown enemy force, and my officers are unresponsive. As acting princess, how do you want me to proceed? I... I don't... Shiny, I'm not... Cadence. Breathe. You can do this. Remember the wedding? Remember how awesome you were during that whole mess? You've got this. We... We should... We should rouse the guards in the barracks and rally those in different parts of the castle to... to round up the ponies who ran away from here and check them for injuries and stop a mass panic from happening and have them use scrying spells to look for the creatures that did this so we can figure out who they are? Good plan. See, you've got this. Let's go. Also, thanks for saving my life back there. Like I would ever do anything else. Mm.
Shush! Please. We have no idea who might be listening. But what about every pony else? We can't just leave them behind to those things. Mrs. Velvet, will you please keep your voice down? But I just feel so guilty. Shush. I think I hear someone. <laughs> What the? More survivors. Survivors? What do you mean, survivors? Hang on. I know you. You're Raven Inkwell, aren't you? Princess Celestia's secretary? Personal assistant, actually. But yes, that is me. And you are? <laughs> In a lot of pain right now. That's what I am. <coughs> One of those monsters tried to rip my guts out before I smashed its head in. For the record, the ceramic busts of the princesses are really heavy. Really useful in a fight if you can lift them. But my name is Corporal Gallant. I have a feeling that's what you were asking. It is. You are leading these citizens to safety, I take it. As per the escape protocols, or at least I'm trying to, I think I got turned around somewhere in these passages. Everything looks the same to me right now. The lack of depth perception isn't helping. We're all going to die! I told you to keep your mouth shut if you want to live to see the morning! We don't know where those things are in relation to us. Narrow passageways like this would be a terrible place to get cornered. <laughs> Indeed. I know the way out if you'd like to join our parties together. I'd be glad to. I'm not arrogant enough not to accept help from someone of your status and renowned intelligence. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> yes. Well, <laughs> follow me then. <laughs> Death to Celestia, and an end to Equestria! Die, monster! Die for what you've done! These were innocent mares and children! <laughs> Nothing can stand before us, my horses! Death to Celestia, and an end to Equestria! Finish them off, rend them limb from limb, leave nothing and no one alive! Turn them all into the delicious meat they are! <laughs> Tear them limb from limb! Shoot the Pegasi out of the sky! Rip up the unicorn's horns! the earth ponies' hearts from their chests and make them watch as you eat them! When we are done here, we will go to the next village, and the next, and the next! All will fall before us! Death to Celestia, and an end to Equestria! Enough! Attacked equestrian citizens on equestrian soil! It. it cannot be! Celestia is the only alicorn! Xanthos killed her! We got the signal! The sun bitch is dead! There are no others! You know who killed Celestia? <laughs> Speak! Who murdered my sister? Your sister? What? Princess Luna was banished to the moon a thousand years ago. You can't be her! I am Princess Luna, mistress of the night, harbinger of the darkness, and bringer of your excruciating end! If you do not speak plain and tell me, who killed Celestia? 
from me, false princess. I will taste your blood this night, just as Xanthos did that wretched son bitch! our least talented horses to hunt! Equestria will become what it should have been 800 years ago! Diomedes is larder! I will kill you for all of this! <laughs>
Happy. 